Hello and welcome to my channel. I'm Daniela and today I'm going to show you how to make this simple Kanzashi flower. Uh, this flower is made of satin fabric and it looks fantastic as a brush or a hair clip. It's very easy to make it and it's also a perfect handmade gift. Uh, my friends and family have a lot of them. So let's take a look at what we need to make it. I'm going to use a cutting mat, rotary cutter and grid ruler. As I said in previous tutorial, it's not necessary. You can use ruler and scissors instead. Uh, but if you are planning to make more concession flowers, I think that cutting mat, rotary cutter and grid ruler are definitely must have because it's much faster with them. Next we need a satin fabric. It's 100% polyester so we can heat seal the edges. Then we need a lighter scissors, curved tweezers, alligator clip, strong thread in a similar color to your fabric, for example Nemo or Eslon. Uh, then we need a needle, glass Rivoli 10 mm, alligator clip with pin or just alligator clip or just pin, depends on what do you prefer. And finally, a glue pen or a glue gun. First, we cut satin squares. The size of the square will be 5 cm. So, we fold the fabric in half to fit on a cutting mat. And first, we cut the edge to make the edge even. Always cut away from your body. Then we cut two stripes, each five centimeters wide, two, four, five. Put them on top of each other and fold them in half to cut the squares faster. And again, cut the edge. And then cut the five centimeters squares. Two, four, five. And again, we need 14 squares to make the flower. Now we take one square with the shiny side down. We fold it to half using curved tweezers. Grab the corner of the triangle. Fold it again. Turn over. Take the corner between your fingers and fold it for the last time. You can see that I'm using my thumbnail to help to fold it properly and put alligator clip on this corner. Now we take another satin square and we do the same again. So we fold it to half using curved tweezers, grab the corner of the triangle, fold it again, turn over, take the corner between your fingers and fold it for the last time. Grab the pedal between your middle finger and thumb. Take the pedal with alligator clip and put it inside this pedal. Now remove the alligator clip. Take tweezers and grab this corner under a slight angle and trim the excess fabric. 
hits your rear edges and squeeze it with tweezers. Now we cut the base of the pedal, so grab the pedal with your fingers this way, trim the excess fabric, again under a slight angle, and heat seal the edges. So, one pedal is finished and we make another six the same way. Take the next square with shiny side down, fold it to half, fold it again, turn over, fold it for the last time and put on the alligator clip. Take another square, fold it to half, fold it again, turn over, fold it for the last time and put the pedal with clip inside. Trim the excess fabric. Heat seal the edges. And squeeze. Now trim the bottom of the pedal. and heat seal it. Now we have seven petals and we sew them together to make a flower. So we put a thread to the eye of the needle and cut a piece of thread and we sew the petals. And now we form a flower. And we make a knot. And finally cut a thread. Then we take glue pen, heat it, grab a rivoli with tweezers, put some glue to the center of the flower. Place the rivoli right into it. Press and let it cool down for a few seconds. Then put also some glue to the cup. and place it on the back of the flower. Slightly squeeze and let it cool down.
So the Kanzashi flower is finished. It's easy to make it and it looks awesome. You can also try some variations of it, try to change number of petals, size of petals, try to play with the colors. There are so many possibilities. In the next tutorials I will show you some other flowers, not only made of satin, but also made of grogan ribbon or some other fabrics. So, thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe. See you next time. Bye!